Welcome back to the black market. We in here. We in here today. Today. And before we get started, you know I gotta hit him with one of them. Just to let him know that there's money on the floor. That is money on the floor. Now you know we keep it real black on the black market. And today we got a very special guest with us, Mr. Jamin Butler. How you doing? Bless you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. From the Black Coffee Company. Yes, sir. Yes, now, the sir. Name stands out to me the most. Tell me about the Black Coffee Company. You know, this is a brotherhood. It's a family, truly. It's a family-run business. We started in 2018. Okay. But me and my brothers, our five, my five partners, uh, Leonard Lightfoot, Christopher Broden, Gino Jones, and Brandon Cole. You got a brother came... named Gino Jones. Yes, indeed. <laughs> he got to be a pastor LA. later. On uh, Gino, is a, he's a life of every party, man. That's my brother. Uh, we go back to junior high, actually, over 30 years. 82 babies. Uh, we stayed together, stayed connected through our oh, HBCU, yeah. Xavier University. Magnificent. We Xavier? Launched, yes, sir. No, I'm Xavier Orleans. alumni. Oh. <laughs> okay, brother. Okay. Word. Okay, I see you, family. I yeah, see you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you. I just went for a uh, College Hill celebrity That's what's edition, up. So, That's yeah. what's up. Yes, yeah. you in the, you rocking the black and gold. You oh, know this. Good. You I'm crazy good. for my ex. You, hey, you feel okay, me? Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I see you. <laughs> Absolutely. Yes. Uh, yeah, but our brotherhood, you know, so Xavier brought us together. We stayed together. And as we traveled the world, going to All-Star Weekend, you know, partying, getting folks getting married, we w realized that we were blessed because our parents were hardworking and they told us about education. But our brothers, our nephews, my cousins, my community, my neighbors, everybody couldn't come with us. Right. Right on this experience and see what we were seeing. So we wanted to create something to bridge that gap. We started with an investment club because we was motivated by the Barry Gordy family. Okay. Everybody knows the story of Motown Records, the Jackson Five, the Supremes, you know, Smokey, Smokey Robinson, Robinson, all, all that. that, you know, billions Temptations. of all that, billions of dollars of culture, right? That that that, that record label created. It started with an eight hundred dollar loan that Barry Gordy, Gordy Jr. got from his parents. For us, that was the Motown moment. Our aha. If we put together a, uh, an investment club, we'll have the money when we realize what business we want to launch. How do you start an investment club? It's simple. We got an LLC. We came up with the name. It was Backpack Investments because, truthfully, that was our click name in, high, in college. We were the Backpack Click. But ultimately, what we wanted to do was give uh, high-impact educational materials to use in backpacks. So that's what we were going to use the money for originally. Uh, flash forward two years, we had some success investing in the market. We realized we could do a little bit more, and we started going to launch a business. We were on conference calls. This was uh, 2817, trying to figure out what we were going to do. My brother, Dr. Leonard Lightfoot, who's based in the D.C. area, said, yo, what about coffee? Because at the time, we were all drinking coffee on Saturday morning on a Zoom call. It was Google Hangout, actually. Um, I was like, bro, I'm not, I'm, I'm trying, what I look like doing coffee? Man, I'm trying to do a black business. I wanted to do some tech. Coffee is I, black. I, 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 what I learned, <laughs> right? What I learned. At the time, no, I was ignorant, right? I wanted to do an app. I was, I'm from L.A., so I wanted to do cannabis. I was like, you know, weed is blowing up. Let's get in this space. But then he was like. blowing up. He was like, nah, nah, bro, look into coffee. And that's when my mind was blown, right? Yeah. People, when you think coffee, you think about Colombia, you think oh, about Costa Rica, you think yeah. about El Salvador, all these beautiful places around us right here, right? Truth, but the birthplace, all coffee on this planet, the species originated in Ethiopia. Come on, man. Right, in the mountainous regions of Ethiopia. We'll clap for Ethiopia. Clap it up, clap it up for Ethiopia, right? The birthplace of so much culture, knowledge, math, you name it, right? And coffee. So when I discovered that, I was like, wait a minute, my whole life, I'm thinking Juan Valdez and all those other things about coffee, when coffee was me. They stole it. Coffee's black. So I was like, we're going to reclaim our seat at the table. It's going to be the Black Coffee Company. And in February 2018, we launched with our website. We had one product. It was a coffee mug that said Woke. Our family loved it. They supported it. Then we got our coffee beans. We started roasting later on. What was the plug on the coffee bean? Uh, we met a coffee roaster out of Ohio. Shout out to Namesake Coffee. They put us on. Uh, we got so to good. connect with them. My brother Leonard, he started roasting himself in his, in his garage. Now we roast about 30 to 40 percent of our production. Uh, flash forward, we started. Where did you get the education on that? Like, who put you up on actual ourselves? Roasting? We learned it. We started asking people, asking questions, researching, going on Google, going to conferences, going to other coffee shops. Hey, how did you do this? That's what's up, bro. You know, at Flash Forward, we started making our own K cups, right? Come on. We got our Cure Eggs. We sell these across the country. So our website, theblackcoffeecompany.com, we sell our products across the world. We've been to military bases in Japan. Our product is going places that I'll never go. Um, and that, and so flash forward, we were doing pop-ups. I was in LA, I had a partner in here in Atlanta, a partner in DC and one in Houston. When the pandemic hit, all that shut down. There were no pop-ups. 
But our website was going crazy because people were shopping online. Mm -hmm. So that gave us the courage and said, okay, we're going to need to get a brick and mortar. The only city that was still open, Atlanta, Georgia. And we got, a, we got the ultimate hookup from Killer Mike. He, he, he invited us to come to the swag shop to do a pop-up. He was doing his Black Market Fridays. Shout it up to Killer Mike, that brother. Absolutely. Listen, not only did he give us the opportunity to demonstrate our entrepreneurship, but he gave us a plug. He said, yo, there's this family, the Ali family, and they got this building in Lakewood, and they're looking for some black-owned businesses, specifically coffee. You should give them a look. We went over there, and my brother Chris checked it out with his fiance Shannon. I said, hey, man, that sound like the move. I moved my family down here in November 2020, and we went to work. Uh, we got an investment, thanks to Beyonce, the Bay Good Grant. Man, hold up, man. Come on, bro. Okay. Now, you're not... Now, you might not know this, but over here in this building, we love the good sister, Sister Beyonce. Whatever she got Queen going B. on. Queen B. Absolutely. We're so going to support we that were, anyway. We were a recipient of the Round 2 small uh, Bay Good grant. Once our family heard about that, they was like, okay, I'm going to put my money with Beyonce. So we did a crowdfunding because we didn't have enough money to build out this coffee shop. It was over $100,000 to do it. Uh, we raised the first round, we raised about 20K from our family and friends. We did another round. We did another round. So all together, we did five rounds of family and friends financing. We raised $150,000. We built out our coffee shop. We opened it on Juneteenth, 2021. Juneteenth, shout out to our culture, our ancestors. And the shop itself, we designed it so that it's reflective of all Atlanta culture. You walk in, you're going to see a big mural with John Lewis, Keisha Lance Bottom, Reverend, Reverend Raphael Warnock. You're going to see the You got to put Gucci on them. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. So, hold on, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on listen. Uh, we, we, are, we, we on the southeast side, right? Absolutely. East side out to East Atlanta. Um, but if you look at our menu, the names of our drinks are reflective of, like, we got the Killer Mike, of course. That's of course. a double shot espresso. We got the Andre, shout out our mayor, Andre Dickens. That's the chamomile tea with lavender, because he don't drink coffee. Boy. He's been to our shop multiple times. Shout out to the mayor. We got the, uh, our number one seller is a drink we call, it's a vanilla lavender latte with a honey drizzle. We call it the light skin Keisha. It's the number one seller. Everybody loves that drink. Uh, you go on Google, we got over a thousand five star reviews. Uh, people love it. You know, it's the taste, but it's the culture, it's the customer experience you get when you come in our shop. Bro, I'm gonna take the whole staff to just have some coffee now. It's a beautiful space. We uh, we do co people come for co-working. Yeah. They come to host meetings. We do spoken word every first Fridays. Shout out to Cafe Unplugged and Lola Lede, the promoter. It's a dope vibe, right? We wanted to create a space that celebrated our culture, yeah, celebrated us. But so many entrepreneurs come together to do deals, create projects. We like we want ten years from now. And shout out to Apache Cafe because they were the Most ones. Most definitely, shout out to Apache Cafe. They, you know, they help pay, and shout out to Apache XLR, they continue to move, but, you know, they kind of paved that way. They gave us the, like, this, we want to create something that we, everybody around the country, when they go to Atlanta, they want to pull up to Black Coffee Atlanta, they want to get that greeting, welcome, they want to come taste the life in Keisha and see the vibe, and that's what we built. Man, that's And cool. also, one thing that we've always done is support other entrepreneurs, so we bring in pop-up vendors every single day. Any day you can walk in the shop, somebody selling candles, selling incense, selling dresses. They can be even selling tea and coffee because we don't, it's no competition. If a thousand more black owned coffee businesses launch tomorrow, that's a good thing for us because that gives us more leverage. That gives us more people to ne negotiate with, network. to educate with, yeah. network and build together. Because this is a coffee people don't know. It is a hundred, multiple hundreds of billions of dollars industry. All right, and it's project, projected to grow even more. A hundred billion dollars. Multiple hundred, right? So then, and, but you think about the people who own these companies, who own the farms, they don't look like us. But when you go to the farms, the people whose hands in the dirt, they look like us. Mm. So I'm like, you know, this had to change. We can't just be, you know, that green and white company based in Seattle, right? It had to be, we need the people to reflect us. So Most the black coffee company. I want to host an event there just... Be, get there early with all the old black dudes and just drink coffee and talk shit. We do it from six to eight in the morning. <laughs> Truthfully, because we well, listen, that's and not, we see all ages, all demographics. We get white, Asian, Latino. We get young, old pastors. You know, businessmen, council folks. Yeah, everybody comes because that coffee. We got a saying: coffee gets a seat at every single table. It's from a the, social drink. From the boardroom to the break room, from the docks to the dining table. Yeah. Man, what's been what's been your experience with this whole building this company from the ground up and just coming in contact with all these different people? It's the it's the best best it's a beautiful journey for one. It's a beautiful journey, but it's long. 
It's got to be patience. Things that I, we learned year one are now coming to fruition in year six, right? The skill set that we've built, we still do pop-ups, right? I was trying to make some coffee here today. Most if definitely. I need it, I'm going to figure something out, right? And it's really about people, though. It's a people business. Like, you know, right now, technology and AI is a big thing. All these companies are laying off folks, they're going through it, trying to figure it out. But you, technology cannot replace place this experience exactly the connection me and you Human talking experience, yeah. and that coffee is the medium in which we do that yeah man so damn that light skin keisha yes sir yes sir it breaks them down they come in they're like light skin keisha what's that they try that Ooh, they get hooked <laughs> they get hooked with oat milk too because you know oat milk's better for you is they, it oh yes don't say that stay away from dairy if you can I just keep smelling you know That's a lot of people just have coffee at their house just mm -hmm. like for the scent bro do you have a favorite scent I, well, uh, my favorite coffee would have to be our Ethiopian, of course, because that's the source. But my second one would probably be our Guatemalan. Uh, that's a newer direct. So all our coffees are direct trade. Um, I like it because it's berry. All, mostly uh, Central and South American coffees are more floral. They're going to be more berry-like, so they're a little more fragrant for me. That's what's up, man. So look, to somebody who hasn't had the experience of the Black Coffee Company, man, we have a whole audience right now. Let them know why they should stop by and check y'all out specifically. Yo, listen, if you want authentic, quality a customer experience, if you want coffee that not only tastes good, but is good for you, if you want to support your community, because we support a number of nonprofits, shout out to my future successors group, shout out to nothing but a numbers. You know, if you want to invest in a local Atlanta coffee shop that is gonna grow and continue to support you, you got to come to the Black Coffee Company, uh, the blackcoffeecompany.com. That's our website. You can check our coffee shop. It's called Black Coffee Atlanta. And we're about to host our third annual, our third annual festival called Black Coffee Fest. This year, our keynote speaker is John Hope Bryant, who is CEO of Operation Hope. He invested $25,000 in our business this year because he believes in our dream, and we want y'all to believe, too. Come support us. That's what's up. I know you said that you had to learn how to roast, man. It's somebody out here watching that's doing their own coffee journey right now. Can you drop them a quick little piece of game on, on the roasting? I would say- or any type of look inside that you had to learn that didn't nobody tell you? <laughs> I would say, you know, every, you, you're gonna think this needs to be done one way, right? All the experts and aficionados are gonna tell you, this is how you make a cup of coffee. But the co coffee is just like anything else, personal. It's your experience, and that's why I love coffee. Everybody prepares it different. Everybody drinks it different, and that doesn't make their cup any better than your cup, just like people. We're all the same. I like to think that coffee, kind of like black folks, was taken from our home and transplanted around the world, but we didn't lose our, our value. No, we took on the value and the soil and the properties, and we became different, but we're still the same. What's the uh, website where they can still order and all that? You can order our coffee beans, you can order our K-Cups, you can order our merch, our mugs, our t-shirts, all that at theblackcoffeecompany.com. That's theblackcoffeecompany.com. We're looking to What's get in. What's the social media? I know y'all got social yes, media. Yes, indeed. Our social media is at Black Coffee Atlanta, at Black Coffee Atlanta. That's one of our main pages. We got a bunch for every region that we operate in, but check that one out first. And then don't forget, blackcoffeefest.com that's our when festival. is that we need that, dates for that yes sir juneteenth 15th and 16th juneteenth june 15th and 16th it's going to be a community activation a dinner we're going to have over 50 vendors free event for the community it's a free event for the community all to come learn keynote speakers and taste some amazing coffee look bro i gotta plug my partner you see that dude sitting right there yes he yes, finds a coffee house in probably every city that we go to man so if y'all ever need an ambassador <laughs> or or y'all was you uh, your own one Valdez? True, true. There you go, right there. Yes, yes. He Tom knows. Ye. Like, you know, shit. somebody taste, right? We need the aficionado. There you go. See, I know people. I know you, bro. Listen, we just so blessed to be on this platform. Thank you for highlighting black businesses. Most definitely, bro. I want you to come back and then you could just be like on set. Next time I shoot okay. the black market and we'll just be having coffee. You say you need to bring, pop yes, up. Let me bring y'all some coffee. Exactly. I, I no, you got to stay the whole day. Okay. And, and don't come at night okay. when we're shooting the, the show show. We'll I have an on set okay. black coffee experience. Let's do it. I got this. Like I got all the equipment. I'm just going to get here in the morning so we can do that. That's I can right. bring the team. We'll have a great time. Well, look, man. I appreciate you stopping through here. Black Coffee Company, 85 South Black Market. We out here and it's money on the flow.